Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Julie Wedby. The title is, You Must Be Ready Now for All to Be Fulfilled. And this word was posted May 7th, 2023. My children and my remnant, all of creation groans and earnestly awaits the manifestation of the children of my Father. Nature itself now reacts violently to the great unleashing of darkness. The hour is so very late. All that I created as beautiful agonizes under the weight of gross sin and intense evil. All is being shaken. Just as my word speaks about, you must be ready now, my children, for all to be fulfilled. What you are experiencing on all levels in this realm is a reflection of the intensification of the battle between light and dark that has been ongoing since the beginning, as you, my creation, my people, have been placed between the two opposing forces. Your minds are constantly bombarded from every angle as indoctrination, brainwashing, and programming are taking place everywhere you look. Your emotions are targeted and manipulated to ensure you remain in bondage at all times. You are besieged with all manner of evil energies, frequencies, and magnetic waves in order that you stay infirmed, confused, and weak in all points of the body. All that I have made clean and pure is being poisoned and tainted, if not utterly destroyed. My people are perishing in great numbers for lack of knowledge of my truth. Those of you who walk with me know that great evil has been unleashed, and without me, you would not be able to endure. I have warned for so long, and now the time is here for the great separation I have foretold would happen. For the last several days, there have been great earth changes taking place, massive shifting as well as sifting. I have caused some of the disturbances, and I allow them from your adversary as well for my purposes. With these changes comes fluctuations in frequencies at the same time. The war in the heavenlies intensifies, and the effects are dramatic in the atmosphere as you see signs all around you. There is a great shift in movement taking place as I prepare for my kingdom to fully manifest in this realm, and great agitation is occurring in the dark kingdom as my light draws closer. You are also experiencing great agitation in the flesh, as very, very soon you are to shed this garment of flesh and pain and enter into my glory. The fight for your soul has never been so intense as it is at this moment. Knowing this, I remind you to have extreme discernment and focus at all times. Do not act on anything without my express directive. Remain humbly at my feet and allow me to insulate you and strengthen you from my throne. Nothing is more important right now. Events will happen in quick succession, as you have been shown. Simultaneously with all the changes taking place, more and more of the portals of hell open as my judgments continue in earnest, and the first to be dealt with is my body, the church. As you are well aware, my body as a whole is grossly oblivious to the season you are in. Their experience is going to be very difficult, but I will still make a way for them. But for you who have listened to me and prepared your hearts and are spiritually ready, walking in obedience, you as my first fruits will be the first to have your DNA completely aligned with me in glory, and then you will assist me in bringing in the larger harvest. Many will then awaken because of the great judgments and continuing volatile changes that have begun and will continue as the beast system is fully implemented. 
Do you remember when I spoke to you about the tearing away of your soul from your spirit and the shift that has been ongoing that would bring you to a place where you would know without a doubt that all that I had spoken about was coming to pass before your very eyes? Verily I tell you, that time is now. You are experiencing great fatigue and resistance in the physical. Yes, there is a tearing taking place and a line of demarcation. So all souls are without excuse as to their choice in obeying me or walking in sin. I have spoken to you about a realignment that must occur as all that does not resonate with me must be separated out. As you experience resistance on almost every level possible now, you are drained and you are weakened. This must be so according to my perfect design. I have readied your vessels for glory and chosen you for this hour. For some of you, this fatigue is happening simultaneously in all aspects of your daily life. I have lovingly prepared you for this time all throughout your lives, so that when it came, you would not be in fear or be distressed or discouraged. My grace is enough to sustain you, and I am pouring out my spirit in great measure in order that you would stand. So my chosen ones, I call upon you now to stand firm and proclaim, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The testing of your faith through the years has taught you much more than you understand. You have been refined by fire in order that your bodies, my temples, may be utilized as instruments of righteousness here. Your journey and its many seasons of suffering have prepared you for this moment of now. It is time for my army to rise in the spirit the work I have desired in you is complete, and now it will be implemented. All that you have learned through patient enduring, I will now call upon you to apply to situations that I bring to you. Although from your perspective presently, you believe yourselves to be at your weakest point, and in the natural, this is truth. But you see, it has all been designed this way in order that I may show myself strong in and through you at this most critical point when the world is entering its darkest time. This is your testimony that I alone am everything. Everything you have endured here is to bring you to the point where there is nothing left of you but only my heart that operates through you. I assure you, just as my suffering was not in vain, neither has yours been in vain. I knew the victory had been won, and this is your truth as well. As I walked that long road of Calvary, every step became more and more difficult, more and more painful. But rather than focus on the suffering of every step I took, my focus was to glorify my Father through what I was enduring. I saw each one of you, your faces, and I poured out all my love that day for you. I saw not only you who would choose me, but I also saw all those who would fall into hell because they wouldn't choose my sacrifice and my gift. This was the heartbreaking love that I gave for every soul I created, yet I still carried on. I am calling on you to do the same for just a few more precious moments and then it will all change and you will understand so much more. Each challenge you faced in this journey was an opportunity to overcome and to mature in intimacy with me. My heart is ever expanding and you will forever be growing and learning into eternity. Each time you simply obeyed and trusted me, each time you surrendered and allowed my will in your lives, you inched closer and closer to me. The process of overcoming was not designed to be easy for you, because if it was, what would you have learned? How would you grow in your faith in me 
and how would I be able to show you my faithfulness for trusting me if there had been no suffering? It is a perfect design to draw all souls to me, back to your Creator who made you to love and be loved. In persevering and enduring, trusting and obeying, following the voice of your Shepherd and King, in doing this, I have and still continue to increase your faith step by step, moment by moment, and as we near our reunion, and I am revealing myself to you in ways you have never known before, I have set the example for you. Suffer well in these last moments before I come for you, in order that all of the work of my cross may be manifested through you in this late hour. Is this not why you have come here? I am with you every step of the way, and I never leave your side. You do not walk this path alone. Together, we will bring in the largest harvest ever known, my beloved. Hold fast. Remain strong. Keep your eyes heavenward, and do not lose track of the prize awaiting you. Who of you would want to be given a great prize for something you did not accomplish? Would the prize have the same meaning if you hadn't worked so hard to receive it? Run for the prize and do not grow weary of giving all your heart, soul, mind, and strength to serve and honor me. Your reward far exceeds anything you can imagine, and I assure you, it is well worth fighting for, especially when the battle belongs to me and the victory has been won for you. So keep your armor tightly fastened and stand, my loves, stand. I await our glorious reunion, my beloved. Shalom. Be still and know that I am with you always. Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.